Hey, Token Metric Team, uh, this is Gordon. Um, thank you guys for everything y'all do. I have a quick question. Bill, I know you've been pretty bullish on the V chain price uh, lately, and I was wondering, I know they're, they operate on a proof of authority consensus. What would be y'all's um, opinion on proof of authority's reliability versus something, say, like proof of stake or proof of work? Uh, thank you, guys. Bye. All right. Thank you for that question. So the question is basically proof of authority versus proof of stake. A very good question. Um, so my understanding of proof of, the, of authority is basically you nominate people. Um, so, cause I know like, uh, back in 2017, there was an ICR who actually invested in that had that same, uh, staking model. Basically they would pick, I think it was, like a, it was a fork of Ethereum. They'd pick notaries, basically imagine like 50 people. And those are the, it's, it's basically a, not a monopoly. It's kind of like Congress. You pick like 50 people. And those are the people who really kind of control the entire staking model. It helps you go faster, but it's not really as the centralized is my understanding. Uh, obviously, I'm no expert in this per se, but proof of stake, I think, is a much better model because uh, all the top projects are using that and not really POA. I think POA, you, you're making a sacrifice. You're, you're basically keeping things small to have things go faster, but it's more centralized. With proof of stake, anybody can really have a say, right? And the, now the downside is it's basically kind of pay to play, right? Like whoever has the most money or the most tokens uh, has the most weight. That's kind of the other downside of it. But I think looking at those two models, uh, I would favor proof, proof of stake because that's what top projects like Ethereum are using, um, Cosmos, Polkadot, like, and the list goes on. Right? So I think the market has basically voted that this is the more optimum solution. Uh, Bill, anything to add? Well, I think everything you said about proof of stake being you know, the thing that everybody wants to go for, I get that, but with, with V chain, okay. With V chain, if you can see my screen here, um, you know, V chain is currently like just below three cents. And I, I think you can go to 0.04, uh, or 0.05. So I know V chain is like a niche play. I know it's unique and it's different, but I just don't know if there are any, protocols out there that can go up as much as VeChain can go up in its particular space. So I get it. If you want to do proof of stake, I understand that, but you know, I'm sticking with VeChain as a good technical play. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.